Yo, what's good, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Iron Angel. We're back for Watch Dogs Legion. I'm gonna go ahead and use this DLC skin I got of uh, uh, which one should I use? I like this one better. <laughs> I look so huge with this gear on. Hold up, hold up, that's not it. But yeah, I'm gonna use that's nice too, but that's not the DLC. There it is. This looks really good. I love the detail of this armor. But anyway, we're gonna go ahead and get right back into the story. I just, since I already got this DLC skin, I want to use it. In breaking news, a large explosion has occurred at the Canadian High Commission in Trafalgar Square. SIRS has issued a statement that the terrorist organization DedSec is active once again after months of relative silence. If you suspect anyone of being a member of DedSec, report them to SIRS immediately using your CSE app. I'm here. What's our target? We're here to find some documents we're calling the Malik dossier. Basically, it's the paper trail that proves Malik was behind the Canada House bombings. Problem is, these documents won't be on one computer. They'll be on dozens, scattered across the country. What are we supposed to do? Well, that's the million dollar question, isn't it? Let's have Malik take it. CERS uses a supercomputer called Filament to process information drawn from the CTOS network. It's like Noodle, if you could use it to search every document on every civilian, government or commercial device everywhere in the United Kingdom, instantly. Wow, look at you. Break in and connect Bagley to a Filament administrative terminal. He'll do the rest. As usual. I look like a straight boss with this gear, bro. Honestly, with the cape, it, it reminds me of Batman. Honestly, only reminds me because he's my favorite hero. So to have some kind of version of Batman is awesome. And this cape is definitely it. I love how, and I'm realizing this, with the different builds I have, the different characters, they have different takedowns. Like the one I usually use, he has a more silent one because he's a stealth, uh, he's a stealth type. Here, this guy has AK-47 grenade launcher, so his takedowns are more rough. I like that. I'm just now noticing this in the game. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait, wait. There we go. Got him. He almost passed that line. I wouldn't be able to get him without setting off an alarm. Well done. Now I should be able to stream myself into SIRS's nasty little snoop computer. Head to the basement and hack the filament admin terminal. There's an intruder in the building security systems. I don't... Sorry. Channel is being hacked. I've taken control of building security. But I'd prefer to end this bloodlessly if you're willing to listen to reason. Don't fucking listen. Zero Day took over Parliament security right before the bombings. This is their M.O. What are you talking about? I want dead set gone, but no one else needs to die. You've proven yourselves very skilled, and I could put those skills to use. Join me. You can still make something of your lives. You really expect us to join you, sick fucks? Zero day? No, I mean sirs. You've practically been working for me anyway. And besides, we have a lot in common. We both use violence and manipulation to shape London into something better. The only difference is I know what I want it to be. Strong, stable, unified, safe. This is what I value. What about you? You are such a fucking hypocrite, you don't even know it. Fine. If we can't convince each other, then I suppose killing will have to do. Here we go. Let a crazy shootout happen. Now that I have this build, I just want to use my grenade launcher and AK-47. It'll make me feel like I'm playing Ghost Recon again. That central server is Filament's admin terminal. Connect me to it to gain access. Speaking of Ghost Recon uh, earlier, they did have a big update to the game. I gotta check that out later. This cape, bro, I feel, <laughs> I feel like a straight boss, especially when he has the helmet on. Shit, we've been locked out. Oh, and it seems Malik deployed the microwave drones. Say again. Microwave drones, one of Filament's novel intrusion countermeasures. They use little microwave cannons to selectively destroy compromised hardware, sort of like chemotherapy for computers. The server room automatically seals itself while they're deployed. 
Suggestions? Try hijacking one of the microwave drones and use it to shoot the other ones down. Hold up, wait, um... Wait a second. Here we go. Alright, let's have some fun. As soon as I start shooting, everybody's gonna start shooting at this uh, drone here, so we gotta make this quick. No, no. Get away from me! I don't know if I'll be able to destroy every one of these with this one drone. I'm gonna have to use another one. They're all shooting at me. My goodness. Oh, wow, that was fast. Okay, let's try this again. They still don't know I'm here, which is good, so. They just thinking it's a malfunction with the drone. Yeah, keep thinking that until I destroy all y'all. Okay, nobody's alerted yet. That was easier than I thought. <laughs> I'll take that here. Go to sleep. Oh, wait. Oh, there we go. This was easier than I thought. All right, so how am I supposed to destroy this drone? Well, that's the question. I might just have to destroy it myself. That's probably what these vents are for. Yeah, so as soon as I... Hold up, hold up. Drones down, server room unlocked. And buggery fuck, Malik has locked me out. He must have a hard light to the server. Suggestions? A full power cycle will reset his connection and give us enough time to complete the intrusion. But filament uses three quantum processors with independent power. We'll have to reboot each individually. Unplug it and plug it back in. Copy that. Close enough. Wait for an ambush to come, but nothing's happening yet. Probably after this one here. Let's get ready for it. Here we go. Uh oh. Could you do something about this drone? It can't seem to take a fucking hint. Um. It said drone. Where's it at? Oh! That's why it's telling me to go to the objective. Okay, got it. It's not the objective, it's the drones I gotta uh, destroy. Hold on, hold on, hold on. My bad. Bad aiming. My goodness. Fuck off, you stupid drone. This isn't a picnic and I haven't got any jam. Man, I was hoping it would be like a swarm of enemies. This is easy. This microwave drone has been hanging around so long I've given her a name. I'd like you to meet Ada. Would you mind killing her? Fuck her off, you clinging little bastard. No, I am not your new daddy. Would you look at this? A chain of custody documents for 40 kilos of Semtex. It ricochets through a dozen shell companies, but ultimately ends up registered to an address in Southall. And would you guess who lived across the street from it for 30 years? Victoria and Imran Malik, parents to one Richard. That doesn't prove a thing. This microwave drone is starting to be a real problem over here. Well, this one is heartwarming and incriminating. It seems that the areas of Canada House immediately around the bombs were evacuated in an unscheduled drill. I have an email chain here between the facilities director and an anonymous SIRS account. Funny, that didn't make the news. You think it's incriminating that I tried to minimize the loss of life? Come on, that's so spinnable, I'm motion sick. Please stop this microwave drone. Please stop this microwave drone. Please stop this microwave drone. Look at 
this. It's an unredacted mission report, but two SIRS agents instructed to plant explosives as part of a training exercise, and it's signed and dated by the Home Secretary himself. Seems it's a bad day to be the Secretary. Exciting! Did he know that the head of security for Canada House had a daughter stuck in a Cairo jail, and that she was pardoned the week before the explosion? Why, he would certainly owe a very, very big favor to the SRS officer who pressured the Egyptians, wouldn't he? I suppose he would. Seems that Malik's given up having the microwave drones destroy compromised hardware. Now he's got them targeting you. The effect will be about the same, though. What do we have here? Straight from your own laptop, Malik. Case files on all these little side you've been running. Honestly, you might as well have titled this Evil Bomb Conspiracy, Doc Doc. That's enough. You can't do this. You mustn't do this. I won't allow it. Independent power has been rebooted. Return to the central core to complete the cycle. Nice work, Bagley. Now let's get this scheming little rat. With pleasure. integrated with filament, and it seems Malik didn't quite have time to cover his tracks. I believe I can trace his position. Do it. All right, let's find you. Too old, too young, too ugly, too female. Ah, there he is. Hello, Malik. You've been disconnected. Is it just me, or does he look constipated? Right, wouldn't be a briefcase wanker without his briefcase. Oh look, seems someone's locked the door on him. Don't worry, there's no way that's going to... Oh no, it worked. Oi, what the hell, mate? Well, that's a wrinkle, isn't it? Is he seriously going to try to get away in a car? A car connected to the city-spanning network of automated surveillance devices? That I control. Auto drive now enabled. Fuck! Hello again. You know, for all your scheming, you don't exactly think quickly Fuck. under pressure. Ah! Better report this malfunction. What now? I sent the Malik dossier to every media outlet from the GBB to the Aberystwyth Sheep Farmers Gazette. It may take some time to sort through, but it ought to clear Deadsec's name. At least for this particular thing. And Malik? Made the mistake of getting into a self-driving car that owed me a favor. It's taking him to a secure location. So, why exactly can't we just drive that car into the river? Believe me, I'd love to. But he might be part of Zero Day. I just don't know how this all fits together. But we need to find out. You hear that, Malik? You're going to help us for real this time. Bloody hell, you insane robot! Slow down! Malik has been secured at the safe house. All right. Well, now that we have him, we should talk to him. Find out what he knows about Zero Day. Just don't get too close to him, all right? As long as he's alive, he's a threat. Yep. Mm -hmm. We already know you bombed the embassy, Malik. And you were involved in the earlier bombings, too. Now's your chance to confess. The earlier bombings? What are you... Oh... God, I've been captured by morons. I didn't do those bombings. I tried to stop those bombings. I am a patriot, and they called me a crank, even Emma. But that's when I knew that intelligence wasn't enough. To save the Empire, I would need power, and fast. But you already knew about Zero Day. I'm a spy, so yes. I knew a few details about the biggest terrorist attack in recent memory. Truth to tell, I really did think Zero Day was you. That's just Occam's razor. But if you insist on a conspiracy, Albion stood the most to gain. Have you really not thought of this? Listen to me, Malik. The truth will come out. And you will stay in here to rot. Oh, I doubt I'll be here long. 
These walls will fall along with all of you soon enough. This radical cooperative you created is doomed to fail, like they all are. I've seen it a dozen times in a dozen places. You will tear yourselves apart. You won't even need Zero Day or Albion or whoever. A single unified ideology, a single strong leader. These have been the characteristics of power for all of human history. Democracy and pluralism were anomalies, blips on the timeline. That's what you are, dead sec. A footnote in the history of the Empire. But now the page is turning, and you are not ready for what happens next. You'll like this. Got word from Hamish that Nigel Cass is planning to unveil some new nasty project at a press conference. And why would I like that? Albion's always got some sort of nasty plan going on. Because Hamish has convinced his Albion contact to talk to us. Apparently it took some doing since Radu's a squirrely sort. He's been especially agitated lately. But he has insider information we could use. The meetings at the Drowning Post. Wouldn't mind a drink while we plan out to give Nigel bloody Cass a black eye. <laughs> 